What's up guys, War here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get all the items you need to craft the Staff of Hurting. Let's do it. There's five items that you need to actually craft the item, and then you need the plans to be able to craft them. So the first place that you're gonna to wanna to go to is in Act One at Cathedral Level One to get the black mushrooms. They're gonna be located on the ground in a particular room. So I'm gonna show you where those are right now. All right, guys, so once you go inside Cathedral Level 1, this room right here is the one that you're going to be looking for, okay? I'm going to blow this up on the screen now. It's this room right here. It's going to be connected by two corridors, and it has to look exactly like this. There's two different rooms that can spawn like this on this map, and then the black mushrooms are going to be sitting right on the ground. Okay, so you come in here. Boom, black mushrooms. So we're going to snag these things. Boom, we got the black mushroom. Ta-da! Okay, so... Keep in mind, guys, that every time you come to Cathedral Level 1, if this room doesn't spawn, because there's two different versions of this room, they look exactly the same. If the mushrooms don't spawn, you're just going to have to reset the game, come back in until this room spawns so you can get them. On to the second item. All right, guys, item number two is Leoric Shimbo, which is located over in Leoric's Manor. So let's teleport there now. What you're going to be looking for is an actual fireplace here right in the beginning, guys. And if... You're looking for logs inside the fireplace like this, the burnt logs. And if they're there, the item will spawn. Now, again, just like with the uh, the mushrooms, the black mushrooms, if the burnt logs are not here, you're going to have to reset the game and just keep coming back in until they spawn. But we're going to get hit the the you know the fireplace, hit those logs, and then Leoric Shinbone is right there. Boom. Pretty easy. All right, guys. Item number three is the Wurtz Bell, and it is the easiest item to get out of all of this. You're going to go to Act 2, go to the Hidden Camp, and you're going to pop over here, and you're going to see Squirt. Okay, inside Miscellaneous, boom. Wurtz Bell, it's 100,000 gold. Pretty easy to obtain. That's item number three that you need. Again, guys, it's the easiest one to get in the game. So this is probably one of the first items you'll get. So, yeah, boom. There it is. On to item number four. All right, guys, the fourth item is the Liquid Rainbow. That's going to be located here in Act 2 in the Dolgar Oasis with the bounty Clear the Mysterious Cave. We have to go in, clear level 2, and look for the Mysterious Chest, which will drop the item. Now, the easiest way to do this is just get the bounty for it. I'm pretty sure you can't come to the Dolgar Oasis and just find this and just do it without the actual bounty being here. But feel free to try. Let me know down in the comments, guys, if you were able to do that. Otherwise, we're going to go clear this bounty up and get the Liquid Rainbow. Let's go. All right, guys, once you're down here at the Clear the Mysterious Cave, the way to access this is you have to kill all the bad guys here spawning next to this guy. Once you're done killing all the, uh, the enemies outside of here, then you're going to be able to talk to Zevin the Alchemist. He's going to be the one that's going to open up the uh, entrance to the actual caves, okay? Now, you have to have the bounty to do this, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, he may just naturally spawn here if you don't have the bounty. But all you got to do is kill all the monsters, talk to him, he also sells some stuff if you need to repair or just buy some stuff from him. But let's go into the caves. Let's go. So we got to kill all the enemies in level 2 for the bounty. But that's irrelevant. That's not the reason we're here. We're looking for the mysterious chest. And boom, just like that, guys, it spawned right in the beginning. Man, I love this streamer video loot for YouTube. So you're looking for the mysterious chest, guys. Once you have it, all you're going to do is come over here and open it. And it should drop the liquid rainbow. Boom. We got it. That is item number four secured. We already have item number five, but we're going to go do it and talk about it right now. Let's go. All right, guys. On to the fifth and final item you will need to craft the Staff of Hurting, which is the Gibbering Gemstone. Now, where you find this is in Act 3, guys, at the Bridge of Corsic inside the Caverns of Frost. Now, the, easy way, the easiest way to do this is to get the bounty clear the Caverns of Frost. It's the best way because it guarantees the caverns. Now, if you do want, you can go to the Bridge of Cor uh, Corsic and hope that it does spawn. Either one of two uh, caverns or caves is going to spawn. It's either going to be the Caverns of Frost or it's going to be the Caves of Icy Fell or something like that. So either one of the other is going to spawn. So if you don't get the caverns, you just have to keep resetting your game until you get it. But what I found the fastest and best way to do this is just to reset the game until you get the bounty, clear the caverns of frost. Okay. Now what we're going to be doing once we get this is we're going to go in and we got to go to floor two and we're going to try to kill the, uh, the boss that's called Jatara on floor two. Now here's the thing. This is what makes this part so hard to get the gibbering gemstone. Jatara will always spawn, but when you kill him, there's a very, very low chance that the Gibbering Gemstone will actually drop from him. That's why this out of all of get, all these items is the hardest one to get. 
because it's just such a low drop rate. Even though that Jatara spawns every time, it's just a very low drop rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Caverns of Frost level 2. I'm going to show you Jatara. And then the item won't drop because I already have it. But I want to show you guys how to do this. All right, guys. We're here at Caverns of Frost floor level 2. We're going to go in here and do this. I'm going to try to pause and get a good shot on Jatara. Uh, she normally spawns at the very back where that beacon is to, you know, spawn or teleport you back to um, town. But let's go. So we're just going to go in. You should have a mini boss that spawns right here inside the caves. Okay. There goes Chitara right there. Boom. We got Chitara, the Vile Frostwalker. She will always spawn. The thing is, is that getting the Gibbering Gemstone to drop off of her is the hard part. That's the hard part. So let's go ahead and kill her. Boom. Now, it didn't drop, obviously, because we already have it. But you want your Tara, and then hopefully it drops the Gibbering Gemstone. If you don't get it, guys, you're just going to have to reset the game until you get it. Um, it's just the, the fastest way to do it. Get the, the bounty for the Caverns of Souls, or Caverns of Frost, I mean. Go in, kill her, hope it drops, reset and repeat until you get it, guys. On to the last item. All right, guys, the last item that we need to actually use all of these to make the Staff of Hurting is the plans to actually craft it. Okay, that's going to be found in Act 4 at the Silver Spire Level 1, which uh, Azul will be carrying. And all we have to do is just kill him and then get the plans, okay? Now, again, I think this is actually a low drop rate that he does drop them. But we're going to go kill him, and hopefully he'll drop the plans. If not, all you guys got to do is back out, reset the game, and go kill him again. So this is probably the second easiest besides words, but let's go get these plans. All right, guys, we're here at the Great Span, and all we got to do is kill Azul. Hopefully, the plans will drop. Again, guys, if they don't, that's okay. You're just going to have to reset the game. You're just going to have to reset the game and come back in and fight him. All right, Azul, die. Boom, Staff of Hurting, first try. So, all you got to do is come in and, and fight him. Again, this is probably the second easiest thing behind the Wurtz Bell. Now, it is a drop rate. So, I don't know if, if it guarantees that it'll drop every single time for the staff of hurting. But it is pretty easy. You just reset the game, come back in and kill him. So, let's pick this up. We have all of our items now for the staff of hurting. We got the plans, the Gibbering Gemstone, the Liquid Rainbow, Wurtz Bell, Leoric Shinbone, and the Black Mushroom. Let's go make this thing. Okay, so to make the Staff of Hurting, guys, you have to turn in the plans to the Blacksmith, which is really easy. You just right-click, turn in the plans, and now we can make the Staff of Hurting, which is under Staff, Staff of Hurting right here. Now, it does require one of each of these items, and then I believe it just consumes them. I don't think you actually get to keep them, and then you get to make the, uh, the Staff, which will allow you to go to... Um, whimsy shire which is great so now and then you can get the rainbow uh sword or uh the cosmetic for the rainbow sword as well as the hamburger i actually have been there once and i have the the hamburger here uh which is kind of cool so you can get that and then uh you can also get the banner which is really cool the rainbow banner all this is really rare stuff because it takes a lot of times going in there trying to get those items which we'll make a separate video on that guys but we can make this right now and see how it goes all right let's make this thing Staff of Hurting Craft. 50,000. Boom. We got the Staff of Hurting, guys. Pretty easy. Today, I just wanted to show you how to actually get this because I don't have this on my PC account. So it was actually really cool to show you guys live to get all the items. You know, I wish I could have had the Gibbering Gemstone drop normally, but I didn't even realize I had it because I've been bounty farming like crazy. Um, I have a lot of resources and spent those because of the seasonal theme of double bounties. But... That is how you get the Staff of Hurting, guys. Those are all the item locations. So I'll have everything timestamped for you if you need to just jump around, if you're missing a particular item or you need to get all of them like I just did. But let me know down in the comments if this really does help you. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. And uh, subscribe if you're new here, guys. We've been pumping out a lot of Diablo 3 content because I've been loving this game and trying to make the most of it uh, in preparation of D4. So if you guys do enjoy the video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.